am really excited to start reading my book, Girl Without Borders. It's um, available on Amazon.com. I'm going to read it in small increments and post it to YouTube and to my blogs. And um, I really hope you join me for this adventure. Preface. Here, wear my leather for the return, you who understood the failures of society that essays to protect us from ourselves, the means that kill the end that would be life in its most natural form, life that extends the imagination and breaks down all laws and barriers and makes for great struggle and emotion. Wear my leather for the return, you who understand, who live in the crow's nest watching over yourself, who live in the valley, the hollow of time. Let us return together. We will go as we came, like a song's second refrain, over the bridge, ankles cold without the socks we forgot to wear. The music pipes in the anteroom for us, four in the morning. Girl Without Borders, Book One, Sometime After Will Was Born, Chapter One. Season brought madness. By solstice, America was subjected to random beauty in the phenomenon of ladybug proliferation. Aquarius had taken the torch and passed it. It kept all warm in the dead of an American winter. When the warm air currents rendered the torch superfluous, irresponsible hands dropped the flame in the dryness set fire to Yosemite. Firefighters who had been called left woods with soot faces through the smoking scorched trees that wheezed. And after fire, light again touched the insensitive ground that had been black under the now vanished canopy and was black still. Green shoots popped through the crust and the ladybugs attended. Some folk worked part-time or less and shivered through the changes. Others worked overtime or more and stayed warm. The furthest to one side didn't even notice the seasons. Life for them was a straight line in a pencil, drew down the edge of a straight edge until the ruler broke. They didn't believe in infinity, didn't want revolution, and underwent a suffering Those below them couldn't know. Those who received mercy and beads children dropped on strings around their necks. They with their muscles flexed. Will was colored in smile. Damn all the dirt and grime in the gutters. Damn fast food. He was about rice and pasta and bread. A whole potato. A hard-boiled egg. Fight it with pools of paint. Forget the mayor's graffiti blasters. Murals are our urban pastures. The mom and pops turn to small profit like slow ceiling fans that turn and turn and yearn, dropping mad tortas in neighborhood taquerias. The time had come for the water fast to restore the clarity that faded these past few years. When digestion became superfluous, The well of saliva dried up. All the time and energy devoted to walk through woods, navigation of stones, hoist a bucket heavy from China, was transferred to more spiritual causes. Sight was in. The turning of chicken Caesar to shit was out.